ไม่สู้เต้Hi everyone, we are here at Esso Jalan Bukit Merah, about to go on our next food journey. Today we're going to be going to some of the cafes that you suggested. The first place is located in a community centre and they sell really nice local food. Secondly, we'll bring you to a Prata place whose recipe has been passed down for three generations. And finally, we're going to bring you for durian. Okay, but before that, you can pump patrol. Okay, and you settle the payment, yeah? Yeah, must remember to bring my smiles card and SO app for some discount. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh. How can you? How can you book bubble tea? We're going on a food journey. There's so much to eat. Ayah dear, you know how I cannot resist when I saw the boba tea counter. But anyway, this is redeem one. How how do you redeem this? Every sixty dollars that you spend, you get one stamp, and two stamps allows you to redeem one boba tea. Oh, in that case, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the living room. Yeah, this is a very big living room. Yeah, la, it's in the community centre, so it feels very homey. Food here is pretty good, and the prices here are pretty competitive. Need to be community friendly prices. That's right. <laughs> so when we came here, it was the prawn meat that got me. Yeah. Right. Well, today's one look like the broth is like super I think, thick, man. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Look, the, the broth is very thick. First thing to try for Hemi is always the broth for me. Wow. Compare fresh meat with uh, frozen meat, you can yeah. sometimes you can taste. You can taste, ah? Uh? Yeah, you can taste the difference, you know. Yeah. So next, we're gonna try the mee siam. Yeah. I mean, this place is founded by these two ladies who love to cook at home. Mm. All these are home recipes, right? So, yeah. especially this one mm -hmm. come from Ama. Ama. It's their Ama <laughs> recipe. This is basically your braised pork curry rice with the chicken cutlet. That's what they call oh, it here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, the curry is nice. Although it's nice with a bit of a crunch, right? But for yeah. me, when I eat curry rice, I want my cabbage to be like really very, very soft. Okay. For me, la, but I like the curry. It's not too spicy, rich in flavour, mm. very aromatic. So I like this curry rice. Of course, you can't have a cafe trail without your coffee and your kaya toast. <laughs> the lady was telling me that they uh, specially procure this coffee mm -hmm. from a roaster. So it's not just the one blend but different blends and then she uses some premium blend as well so it's okay. not your ordinary run of the meal kopi tiam okay. kind of coffee yeah how's the blend is it blend <laughs> or is it good it's is definitely it? not blend it's not blend <laughs> it's very it's robust okay. it's, it's a bit on the bitter side but it's definitely very rich okay yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try the kaya toast yeah Standard. I think it's quite a hidden gem. You mm. don't expect to find a cafe in a community center. And uh, I think that the food is very homey, well put together. You know, they use fresh ingredients. Yeah. A lot of heart goes into the food. So, where are we off to next? Well, next we're going to go for this uh, Prata Cafe. Mm. Highly recommended by this guy that we both know quite well. Mm, I wonder who that is. Ah, yeah. So the person that we know very well is the younger version of you. Yeah. <laughs> every time I come here and eat, right? Every every time I see my face, he's getting younger and younger. I'm getting older and older. <laughs> this is one of our favorite Prata spot because uh, first of all, it's quite comfortable, mm -hmm. air conditioned, yep. and and most importantly, Prata is good lah. Yes, I mean it's crispy, it's buttery, and it's not too oily, which is what I like. This owner has got two stalls, and mm. he makes his own dough. Yes, he okay. was just telling us that there's uh, some sort of secret recipe, right? Yeah. That's been passed down for three generations. That's right. There's a certain flavour mm -hmm. that you don't get anywhere else because they actually import some special spices from India mm. to put inside the dough. One thing I like about this place is that their fish curry is actually very good. Prata is good, curry must be good also. Yes. Mm. Mm. Then besides the prata, yes. they also have the fried chicken. Ooh. They only use fresh chicken. Mm. So, and uh, they marinate it very well. Again, grandfather recipe, I think. Difference when people use fresh chicken. Mm. Yeah. It's nicer. Uh. It's very nicely marinated. 
And I want to introduce everyone to this brand new prata. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the truffle mushroom egg and cheese Ooh. prata. It's something that you suggested to Ashraf. <laughs> yeah, it's because just... you say truffle is like the big thing right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to us, truffle is like wow, so nice. Yeah. But to the Indians, right, it's quite mild. Oh. Because they are so used to very strong, strong flavor. Flavors, yeah. Truffle is actually very mild to mm. them. And then finally, one more thing. Mm. Teh halia. Yes. yes. Cheers. Mm. It's got that punch mm. because they, you know, they really boil the ginger to make the teh halia. Yeah, that's right. And then mm. the tea mixture uh, that they use is again something that they import from India, and it's special mix and special tea blend. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to prata, right? Not many stores can boast of a three generation legacy. Mm. Actually, uh, although their name is quite new, yeah, they existed since the 1950s. The grandfather was just basically selling prata in an old coffee shop. Oh. So he inherited the business from uh, uh, grandfather, passed on to the father, and now he's taken okay. over the business. Right. Only two shops, so he still keeps a very close eye on the quality of the food. Yeah. So if you love prata, make sure you come down and check out Master Prata over at Alexandra Central next to IKEA. Next, we are going to your durian dessert cafe, right? That's right. It's <laughs> like time for some dessert, now, <laughs> right? Lulian, 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 no. Lulian lizard, uh, lizard, dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Not Lulian dessert. So this place okay. is opened by Asing, is it? It's just Asing Durian Asing, is just next door. Asing Durian is next door. This is a durian cafe. I mean, it can't be such a big coincidence, right? It's called the Durian Lab, la. So it's a yeah. place for them to experiment it's with the next different generation, kinds it? of uh, durian, right? Yeah, like his son. La. And then when it's off season, right? When they have all this durian that is already mm. frozen and kept mm. to make desserts. La. Yeah, okay. But mm. durian seller can also make Patisserie. They actually don't make their own cakes. Oh, okay. They partner with uh, some of the famous bakeries around Singapore and then of course they give them their durian. Uh. Okay, so this is a durian shortcake. Yeah, so not uh... strawberry shortcake. <laughs> so shortcake right. means soft and puffy sponge. Not overpowering. It's a good thing to introduce your foreign friends to, yes, you know. That's you right. have uh, tourists coming from overseas, they're a little bit apprehensive about durian, right? Yeah. Bring them to a durian cafe. This is like a, a soft gentle ending, a gentle introduction. introduction. But yeah. if you like durian, <laughs> this one may be a bit light. Yeah, I was expecting that when you come to a durian cafe, right? The yeah. first thing you come in, like, whoa, overpowering with the durian smell, right? But yeah. not so. Down here, it's like you don't smell like overpowering durian. No, huh? just, it's not coffee, also, because <laughs> they, they, have, they have coffee. A couple of you online was telling us that the star of the cafe yeah. is actually the cappuccino. Mm. Pretty good cappuccino, right? Mm -hmm. But we better go and try this kueh salad. Yeah. Kueh salad yes, means there's right. a durian on top and then a glutinous rice. The durian is stronger here. I think mm. this one is most like pure durian. Mm, the top layer. Yeah. yeah. Burnt cheesecake. Okay. Very mild. But I would say so far, that one, the texture seems to make sense. It's like it's creamy, it's custardy. So I think durian yeah. burnt cheesecake seems to make sense. The mm. tart, mm. It's alright. It's a nice tart. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little Christmas decoration on the Durian ice cream. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 okay. It's, it's, yeah, okay. It's a uh, Christmas Grinch, lah. Okay. I think the waffle is pretty decent. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, of course, the ice cream is good too. Okay, so this is the uh, durian sago dessert that's got um, obviously sago, one scoop of durian ice cream, and then they've got some puree as well. Okay, this is more my kind of thing, really. <laughs> It's got more durian. It's like a durian pengat. Mm. This one is good. Yeah. I like this one. Aha! Ooh, look at that! Wow! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Buy durian from 
next stop Ah Seng, mm. Mm. and then have it here. So thank you everybody for staying to the very end of the video, and thank you Esso for fueling our food journey. I know you did it well, dear. That there was a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> so don't forget to bring along your Smiles card whenever you pump at Esso, and bring along your Esso app as well because you can use it to redeem petrol and shopping vouchers from places like IKEA, Amazon, Best Denki. Yeah, very useful for Christmas. So until next time, happy eating and happy holidays. Bye for now.